The world is a global village and the internet is the reason why that is possible. You're welcome to the Internet Business Show. My name is Emeka Is it? This is going to be an interesting episode. And of course, you know what we do on the Internet Business Show. We get to have a conversation, a chat with someone who's leveraging the internet to make money, do business and live life. This is Daba TV. I'm going to go on a short break. And when I am back, my guests will be brought to your screens on the IBS this week. Welcome back from that short break. I remain a maker is a this is a Daba TV. Do not forget to like, to share, and to subscribe to this channel. Of course, with me in the studio today is Idubo Emmanuel Ewine, an internet savvy crypto trader, someone who is a UI UX designer and also a graphics designer, a community manager. And of course, there is a long list of everything he is. In the course of this discussion today, you are going to learn about how leveraging on the skills you can learn from the internet can make you a living and even take you off from where you are to a better place. Please meet my guest today, Idubo Emmanuel Ewine. Ewine, it's nice to have you on the show today. Thank you, it's a pleasure. I mean, you're looking good. Thank you very much. I mean, my people where I come from will say you are sharp. <laughs> it's really, it's really nice to I have you. It. Welcome you. to Daba TV. Thank so you. officially, what I have just done is can be classified a little introduction of who you are. So let us meet Enwai. Okay. Well, first, I'm a physiologist. Oh, great. First, yes, I'm a physiologist. And then I am a, a crypto trader. I trade cryptocurrencies actively. And um, I'm a designer. I design graphics and I also do... Um, design and um, user interfaces and user um, experience. Experience. Yes. Yeah, UX. Yeah, yeah. I'm a community manager, and I'm also a product manager. Recently, mm -hmm. recently. So yeah, I think those are the core, core skills. There is a lot you have mentioned in one: crypto <laughs> trading, graphics design, UI, UI UX. UX design, yes. product management, yeah. um, community, community manager. manager. Yes. And the physiologist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I told you this was going to be an interesting ride. Let us get to know um, NY's story. NY, first, you couldn't have access to all these things sitting in one room without your, the access to the internet. I'm sure the internet played a huge role in all this. Yes. So tell us, what is your first exposure to the internet? Um, Some time back in 2014. In 2014. Okay. Um, my mom wanted me to get uh, more exposed to mm -hmm. the computers at that time. I never touched the computer then, okay. just the cell phone. And so I got enrolled in one institute, one computer institute, right. um, to study um, this um, desktop publishing. Okay. Okay. So I, I started, and I think that was when I learned Microsoft, Excel. For the first time. For the very first time, Corredro. And because of some resources that I needed at that time, I had to go online to download some resources. Yeah. That was my first time ever going Getting, online. Yeah. Yes. That, was the, that was the first time I knew that that was in the internet. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I went online, downloaded some stuff and used it for some of my designs. Interesting. So at the point where you got to the internet, like what was the most intriguing thing for you getting access to the internet? Um, well, it's the fact I could sit in one place, be in one room and be able to access the rest of the world from that room. From, the room. from that small so space. So you think that at that time, the internet speed is really not as good as it is now, but you still felt that, you know, yes, that 100%, excitement. Yes, 100%. <laughs> all, all right. So to get things clearly, we have been able to sort how you got into the internet at in the first place. And upon stumbling into the internet over the years, you, years you're now a crypto trader, UI UX designer, yeah. graphics designer, community manager, and then with these skills, you still freelance. Yes. My question is, how did you get into each of these niches? These are different niches. These are where different persons could be professionals at different times. But you are in this, all of these things at the same time. How did that happen? Now, let's say, I would say it started um, far back as when I started, um, when I got interested in the computer stuff in okay. 2014. Okay. Because that, as at that time, when I was learning the micro stuff and the rest, I remember very well that I used, I was so good with Microsoft. I never started Corel Draw. Mm -hmm. I was so good with Microsoft. I'm talking about design now. I got into design first. Yeah. I was so good with Microsoft that I was using Microsoft to design certain things hmm. that you, you can only use Corel Draw for, for some people. 
Wow. You know, some of my then some of my teachers they'll stand behind me watching you what I was create doing. Those... Create those magic and I even remember um, the, um, designing a full football pitch with players on them and everything just with Microsoft Word. Really? Yeah, they're like, okay, they sat down. Wait, just with Microsoft <laughs> Soft Word. Word. Yes. Okay. Microsoft Word. You know, for that it's just a text document, yeah. text application. But I used to design a full football field and many other things. So I, that was I, that was the point I got interested in design. So I knew with over the years I had to look for a proper because mm-hmm. I knew that was just basics. So I had to look for a proper course to to boost your yeah, knowledge. to boost the knowledge and everything. So since that time I started looking for good design courses to get into. Um, same thing for crypto. I think I heard about cryptocurrency for the first time in 2018. Okay. I was already hearing about, you know, there's something called Bitcoin mm-hmm. before then, but really what cryptocurrency is, it was 20, um, 2018, that was when I first heard about it. And so I was, I usually go online to look for um, courses or resources and mm-hmm. free things, free resources to read. But it was, it was just on and off. Mm-hmm. I was not um, like getting it exactly. So I needed, I knew I needed a course yeah. on it. So I think it was in 2019, that was when I was going through Twitter and I saw a post, I think a tweet by Chrisani. Okay. I saw a tweet by Chrisani. And I was just, since that time, I started, I went through some of his feeds and started following him. And then I think at a point he mentioned um, his um, platform where you can learn um, stuff like that. So I clicked the link and checked out some of the courses. I saw design there. So Sorry to cut you. He okay. mentioned his platform. That platform is www.daba.school. I'm sorry to cut. I just wanted to make that clear. Now moving on, you saw some courses on yeah. the platform. You can take on from there. Yeah, I saw some courses. I saw design course. I saw cryptocurrency because I was amazed. Now mm-hmm. look at what I'm looking for oh. in one place. So I think I got the, it. Was the first I got was the cryptocurrency course, and then I think some months after I got um, um, graphics and UI UX simultaneously. I got them together. So that was why that was how it started. Oh, it's <laughs> interesting. Now, um, we're going to go on a short break, just a breather. And then when we are back, some of the things we are going to talk about is how long it took you to take these courses you took on Daba. Okay. I mean, how were you able to manage all of them? And is I mean, every other thing that leads to who you are at the moment. Stay with us. We're still with Idubo, Emmanuel, and Wine. And then when we're back, we'll have some of these chit chats about every other thing about his journey. Stay with me. We'll be right back. Guess what? The new and improved Dabba app helps you learn courses at the go. Now you can learn with ease, buy a course for a friend, use coupons, refer an N, and make money online. Remember, the future is in your hands. Download the Dabba mobile application today. Welcome back from that short break. I am in the studio today with a 22nd century internet superhero. Idubo Emmanuel Ewai, someone who's managing a lot of skills from um, the internet and is obviously making money with these skills. Before we went on the short break, we talked about how he stumbled upon the internet and how he's actually channeled that energy into learning skills that pays him off. And then in the course of that journey, of that story, he talked about getting on Daba dot school and that is where you find skills of the future now on to the conversation um yeah, and why there is something i really want to ask in all on daba school on the daba platform how many courses were you able to purchase um five five, five. Can, we, can we take them yes um trade and make money course one um graphics two ui ux three income boosting course four and whatsapp and what's up on the course. Now, he has five courses. Let me know how long it took you to finish off all these five courses. Uh, I'll say in two years. In the space of two, two years. years. Yes. I'll take a break yes. and I'll address this. There are five courses, five very serious courses, and one completed in two years. And this gives rise to, or just, I mean, supports the statement by Chris Anne that the jobs of the future are no longer taught in schools. You'd mm-hmm. agree with me that if cryptocurrency as a course were to be taught in universities, <laughs> it wouldn't be a two-year course, <laughs> not a three-year course. I mean, it would struggle to be a four-year course, actually. Maybe if, five. If, yeah, maybe five. five. Right. Cryptocurrency is a broad niche, but <laughs> somebody can actually sit down at the comfort of their home to the internet and an education source and learn these skills and even generate money with it. Yeah. So let's talk about the money aspect. On an average, putting these skills together, 
how much are you able to generate per month? Mm, I, I do seven figures. Per month? Yes. Okay, for the record, seven figures is um, anything from a millionaire. Yes. That's seven figures. So there are six zeros after the one, and then there is the one to make it seven. So you are doing between one to nine millionaire every month. That's interesting. So I don't know the the level you want to get to professionally in a niche, <laughs> where you got, get through to the university, you do postgraduate and all that, and register in a company that pays you seven figures a month. That'll be a lot of years of hard work. <laughs> years. years. Years of hard work. I have wet hair, but <laughs> I'm telling you. But somebody with the power of the internet is generating that. Interesting. So mm -hmm. let, let's take this one. Okay, I think I've talked about that. How long it took you to take all these courses yes. at the same Two time? Years. Yeah, so how were you able to manage all these five courses within this period? Well, there was this course, that course. How were you able to put all together? I didn't, I, well, like, I didn't get all at the same time. Good. The nice first clarity. I got then was um, the Trade and Make Money course. Nice. So that was the one I was most interested in that one. So I got it and started going through it. Yeah. When I was done with that one, then I, as I, before I finished crypto, um, the Trade and Make Money course, yeah. I had gotten design and UI UX already. Nice. So when I finished the Trade and Make Money, I started design and UI UX. You don't have, I don't, I didn't like take everything at the same time. Yeah. It would be too much for the brain to take. So, take. So I started with the trade and make money, finished that one, then started design and UI UX. Because I already had little knowledge on design, so I was able to, um, design was not much work for me. Okay. I was able to seem to it within a very short period of time. Yeah. So the real um, work was um, in UI UX, because it was a whole new platform, um, platform and all that. So, so let's just say I did, yeah. Then I went to the income boosting course and WhatsApp monetization didn't take much time. I even watched those ones over and over again. So. Yeah. Interesting. So, yes. I, I like the fact that you're able to break down how you did that. So not like you took all the knowledge at the same time. No, no. I, I mean, so yes, he's a superhero, but there are techniques to doing this. Now let's 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 talk about uh, this part. Let's not make it look all perfect and you know rosy. Did you have bad days? Yes, a lot. A lot of them. Especially for design and cryptocurrency. Yeah. For design, for the design, there are times when um, you know, taking these tech courses can be very boring. Very, very, I very, very important. Going through them, you could finish module one, module two, and then either you just get tired or it's just too technical for you to understand at that point. Mm -hmm. So what I usually do is I just leave it at that point, take some time off. Could be some days, could be even a week. There are mm -hmm. times when I won't even go back to the course for a month. Mm. Then when I feel like, but never make it too long. I never make it too long because. If you make it too long, you could forget about it. Even the ones you studied before, you will start forgetting. Yes, yes. You forget about what you studied before and not even want to go back to the to course the again. To, yeah. So you need to, and especially when you start, I know when you get that kind of break, you start seeing these shiny new courses. Yes, um, what's it called? I think it's shiny object syndrome. Syndrome, yes, yes. When you see them, you start pursuing that one again. And that, there's nothing worse than that um, sort of distraction. Mm -hmm. So you need to stay consistent in one thing. So I just finished that um Finish that one, then move to the next. Nice. Yes. All this while, these courses were from Daba.school. All of them. Okay. Were the courses giving you the results you wanted from Daba.school? Yes, but not immediately. Yeah. It didn't come immediately. For example, when I, I started three, I started them. Um, I started and finished trade and make money course in 2018. In 2018, and like I said, that crypto didn't pay me. In fact, I was losing money for two years. Hmm. I started, I think the first time I made money from crypto was late 2020. No, not even late, early 2021. Yes, early 2021. So it was for two years I was losing money. It's not as if I was making peanuts. So there was one, I, remember, I knew I, can, I can't count how many rugs I've eaten, rug pools that I've, like, it was, it was really many. So I think the first, um, it was on a decentralized exchange that I made my first money, mm -hmm. where I bought this particular coin and just um, did 10x or something like that. That was the first time that I can remember that I made money from cryptocurrency. Then from there, it just <laughs> got better and better and better. Interesting. So the problem with so many persons who take courses online, do tech courses, want to study and get digital skills is some people want results immediately. Some people want... I mean, as, I, as I'm studying, I need to be getting results or making money. That's why I hear questions like, if I'm able to purchase this course, how much am I going to make in the first three weeks? Or True. something like that, you know? <laughs> so I think this should have given you clarity on the realities uh, that, that you, you get to encounter when you're in the, in, the, in the niche, in the field already. The truth is that consistency 
that patience, I'm sure, is a thing you have applied over time. Yes, you need it. That you has it. taken you through. Yeah. So in general, how, what would you say about adaba.school? The, the, the courses, the facilitators, the experience, the impact, and where it has brought us today? It's beautiful. I enjoy it. Um, even recently, I think the um, most of the videos were upgraded to better. Sure, definitely. So, you know, when you watch something with that kind of quality, you want to keep on, you want to continue watching. Mm -hmm. And so, and the, the um, teachers themselves, they know what, they know their stuff. Mm -hmm. They are put that have, you know, um, they are not just talking. They've done what they are trying to teach you and yeah. they are very, very successful with it. So, yeah, I think it's 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 beautiful. It's, it's amazing. It doesn't really help me. Great, interesting. Um, that is and one's experience on Daba.school. What is your experience on Daba.school? Are you a student right now and you want to share your experience? You can drop some of your experiences down there at the comment section. And if you inspire to be a student of Daba.school, kindly visit www.daba.school. And right there, you can see a lot of courses. Of course, he mentioned five of them. He took five of them. Yeah. There are trade and make money, UI, UX, graphics, design, WhatsApp, monetization, and income boosting. All of them. And the truth is, each one of these courses is making you money right now. Is that yes, correct? Yes, yes. Yeah. And yeah. you can do the same, all right? You don't necessarily have to take all five. I mean, I call him a superhero throughout this session because <laughs> it takes a superhero to do all that. You don't necessarily have to take all five, right? And of course, talking about courses on Daba.school, I'm glad to announce that two new courses will be launching right on Daba.school. We have the YouTube monetization course and the Millionaire Freelance course. Those are the two courses that are coming on board. And trust me, the professionals who handle these are people who are really doing great in this niche, like NY mentioned initially. So NY, it's like really great having you here on you. Daba TV, having Thank this you. chat with you and having you share your experience about, I mean, your journey through the internet and on Daba TV. Your story would have motivated a lot of persons who are really doubting themselves, yeah. wasting their time with the access to the internet. And someone who is already got to these courses or losing hope, <laughs> I'm sure this story does something for you. Now, this is where we come to the official end of the show. We're okay. going to take a bonus session. Okay. On that bonus session, we're asking him five questions away from UI, UI, graphic design, cryptocurrency, income boosting, WhatsApp monetization, mm -hmm. and his career so far. But we'll go on a short break. And after that, we'll take the last session. We'll be right back. Guess what? The new and improved Dab app helps you learn courses at the go. Now you can learn with ease, buy a course for a friend, use coupons, refer an end, and make money online. Remember, the future is in your hands. Download the Dab mobile application today. Welcome back again. This is the final lap of the Internet Business Show this week on Daba TV. I've had fun with um, Idubo Emmanuel Enwai and I am a Mecca Eze. And of course, this is the Internet Business Show. We are at that junction where we are going to talk about the bonus questions. There are five questions here, Emmanuel. Okay. And <laughs> we're going to take this really quickly, as quick as possible. Okay. If you were not in your niche currently, in the tech space currently, okay. what career would you have gone for alternatively? Um, well, I tell all my friends that <laughs> if I wasn't in tech and if I wasn't living in Nigeria, mm -hmm. <laughs> I would have probably gone with um, Hollywood. Definitely, I've been in Hollywood because I love acting movies. Why not in Hollywood? Because how we do exams in Nigeria. Uh, <laughs> There is no Hollywood now. That action. I like action movies. We too have action movies too. Mm -hmm. My brother, you... <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to. You don't want Our to kind be of shot action is not choose how you die. <laughs> or the fake action. I don't want that. <laughs> True. All right. So the second yeah. question here is, what would you rather be overnight? A husband or a father? Uh, definitely a husband. <laughs> a husband. I mean, you don't want to procreate. You don't want children. Uh, <laughs> I think I'll prefer husband. husband. Yes, I would husband. Yes, I would prefer that. Because the husband comes with a package. Yes. So being a husband at comes with a package now. Comes with a package and you just enjoy that. You enjoy but, it for the moment, right? Taking care of kids is not for the week. But taking care of the package <laughs> that comes with the husbandry activity is, is for the week or for the strong. At least we can manage that. <laughs> All right, number three. If you are to pick a superhero to represent you or to be you, who would that person be? Definitely Superman. 
Superman. Yeah, I like the fact that he has multiple abilities. Multiple abilities. Yeah. I mean, I told you this guy is a superhero. He's speaking <laughs> Superman because Superman has multiple abilities. And he's that one guy who has multiple abilities to take on five courses in two years <laughs> and make money off them. Interesting. And number four, Marvel or DC? Marvel. Your favorite Marvel um, character? Iron Man. Always. Iron Man. Iron you see, Man. this guy is complicated. <laughs> favorite superhero, Superman. And who writes um, between Marvel and DC, Marvel, and then who write character in Marvel, <laughs> Iron Man. Okay. And finally, Black Panther or Captain America? Black Panther, any day, any time. Why Black Panther? He has that African touch. And oh, is the African thing. Yeah. Sometimes I tell people that if Nigeria was, if Nigeria was better, we would look somewhat like Wakanda. Okay. Yeah, like a, a nation populated with black mm -hmm. people, but very smart people with smart technologies and the rest. True. So, so we'll be like the Wakanda of Africa. Exactly. If Nigeria <laughs> were to be the Nigeria we hoped it was. Hopefully. Okay, now day. because you have an African touch, let's come back. Black Panther or Jaja of Obobo? Yeah, we're we we African. <laughs> Everybody's African now. Still Black Panther because I've made Black Panther. I haven't made <laughs> Jaja. <laughs> what you read about him? Come on. Maybe once. No. <laughs> I wouldn't blame him. He's not a history student. I mean, he's a physiotherapist. Am I correct? A physiologist. A physiologist, sorry. <laughs> a physiologist and the guy in tech space. You wouldn't blame him. You just might have just had, not even read about him like that. I Jaja heard about him, but I haven't read about him. Yeah. Too interesting. So Black Panther for him. Yeah. So it's been an interesting ride on the internet business show today. I remain a Mecca is a... I've had a great time with you, Dubo, Imalo, and NY. And this is going to be it on the Internet Business Show this week. Stay tuned, and we'll be with you next week. Bye for now. Discover amazing entrepreneurs with successful businesses and creating impacts on the Business Leader of the Week show every Saturday. The Internet is not just a web, it is also an estate. Catch the exciting stories of people making money on the internet live on the Internet Business Show every Friday. Enjoy exciting and educating talks on tech and its future on TechGist every Wednesday. Enjoy global and local news in different languages on Tech News every Tuesday. Discover entrepreneurs making impacts and changing lives on the top 5 entrepreneurs every Thursday. Catch all of these exciting shows live on Daba TV.